information getting to our table confirms the fact that the government has just slammed the door on illegal migrants. No more banking, no cars, and no education for their kids. We'll be talking about that in today's video, so please do all to stay glued and do watch the video till the very end. While in a bold move to address illegal immigration, the government has announced stringent new measures that will significantly impact undocumented individuals living in the country. Effective immediately, these measures restrict access to essential services like banking and education, leaving many to question the implications for families and communities. In today's video, we are going to delve into these restrictions their potential consequences and the broader context surrounding immigration policies in our nation. Illegal immigration has been a contentious issue in many countries, including South Africa. Over the years, various governments have implemented policies aimed at managing and, of course, taking away undocumented individuals and ensuring that resources are reserved for legal residents. However, this latest set of measures marks one of the most drastic shifts in policy seen in recent years. Historically, many illegal migrants have contributed to the economy, taking on jobs in sectors that often face labor shortages. Yet, growing concerns about national security, resource allocation, and public services have led to calls for stricter immigration controls. This latest initiative appears to be a response to these pressures, signaling a new era in how our government approaches illegal immigration. While the government's new policies include several significant restrictions that would directly affect the lives of illegal migrants, the first happens to be banking restrictions. Illegal migrants will no longer be able to open or maintain bank accounts. This move aims to disrupt their financial activities, making it more difficult for them to operate within the formal economy. The next happens to be transportation limitations. The new rules prohibit illegal migrants from registering, owning, or driving vehicles. This restriction limits their mobility and ability to seek employment or access essential services. The next happens to be marriage and property. While illegal migrants are now barred from entering into or dissolving marriages as well as registering property, these measures are intended to prevent fraudulent marriages and illegal property acquisitions. The next happens to be the impact on education. One of the most controversial aspects of the new measures is the prohibition on children of illegal migrants enrolling in schools or kindergartens. Critics argue this decision punishes innocent children for their parents' status, igniting a heated debate about the ethics of such policies. Well, the implications of these restrictions are profound. Families with illegal migrant parents may face severe hardships. Children who are denied access to education could fall behind, affecting their future opportunities and contributing to a cycle of poverty. Moreover, the inability to access banking services can lead to increased vulnerability among illegal migrants, pushing them further into the shadows of society. Without a formal means of financial support, many may resort to informal and potentially dangerous alternatives. Well, I don't know about you all, but I strongly feel like this is something that really needs to be done in order to reduce the rate at which illegal foreigners move rampantly here in South Africa. What are your thoughts on the government's new restrictions for illegal migrants? Do you think they are proper? And of course, do they actually subject themselves to humane treatments and human rights organization rules? Leave your thoughts just down in the comment section.